Okay, so it looks like we're learning about kinetic and potential energy today. First, before we go into that, let's learn what is energy. We did it in the last lesson. You know that energy makes things happen or the ability to do work. Now, you know energy is all around you, whether you're on a swing set, reading a book, or simply sitting there at the beach. And so energy is all around you. But let's go even deeper. What is kinetic energy? Uh, kinetic energy is energy in motion, and it's any type of move, any thing with movement has kinetic energy like this car, this fan, and even this Newton's cradle. And some examples of kinetic energy is this basketball that was up in the air that is coming down now towards the ground. And this has kinetic energy when the ball is coming down. Another example of kinetic energy is when a toy car is going down or rolling down a hill. And this a toy car has kinetic energy. It's moving down. Here is another example. You see the child is sitting at the top, but if it had kinetic energy, then the child is actually sliding down the slide. That's when you know uh, the child has kinetic energy. When you're dealing with kinetic energy, mass and speed have a lot to do with how much kinetic energy it has. So let's look at this big old truck and this bicycle or unicycle. The unicycle has a lot less mass than the truck does. And so you know that when it is in motion, the kinetic energy of the unicycle is going to be a lot less than the truck. So if there were two toy cars that were going down a hill, like as you see in this picture, which one would have more kinetic energy? On one side, you see a, a large red car, and on another side, you see a, a smaller gray car. The car that is bigger is going to go down much faster and has kinetic, more kinetic energy. So looking now that we've kind of looked into kinetic energy, what exactly is potential energy? Well, potential energy is the energy that is stored. Yes, energy that is stored and has the potential or capacity to get into motion. So it's not in motion, but it has the potential to get into motion. And that's what it is called a potential energy. So when an object moves up above the ground or against gravity, it has potential energy. You see the little ball on this Newton's cradle. When it's being moved up, when the person is moving up the little ball, it has potential energy. But when you release the little ball, the energy changes to kinetic. Let's look at this bow from a bow and arrow. When you get the arrow or the bow being pulled back, then that has potential energy. It has the potential to get released into the air and have kinetic energy. The same with this rubber band. When it is stretched back and not yet released, it actually has potential energy. Here is a ball that is traveling up in the air and not yet coming down. Right now it's just traveling up and that's when it has potential energy. So when it comes down, that's when it has kinetic. So let's look at potential energy a little deeper. When you're looking at the, the placement or the position of the object, um, it'll change its potential energy. So let's look at this roller coaster. You see the red car in the middle has the most potential energy. And then you see the green car on the left side and it's going up the roller coaster. It has more potential energy. It doesn't have kinetic energy yet, but it doesn't have the most because the most potential energy is always at the most top location. And the blue car is going down the roller coaster. So it has motion and movement going down, and that has kinetic energy. So what about a bicycle that is higher up on a hill? Will it have more potential energy than a bicycle at the bottom of a hill? Yes, the answer to that is a yes. The higher the bicycle is, the higher the potential energy will be. When it is stopped, you see the bicycle moving down. It has kinetic energy when it is moving down. 
But when you have the bicycle that is stopped at the very top of the hill, it has most potential energy. Then it will go down and have kinetic energy. And then when it stops at the bottom of the hill, it will have potential energy again. So what about a book on a shelf? The book that is on the highest shelf will have the most potential energy because there is more. It's on the higher uh, location, so the, the that book on the higher shelf will be able to fall down at a much further distance. The more mass an object has, will also give that object more potential energy. We saw that in kinetic, and that's what it has in common with potential energy. So let's look at some questions. See if you can respond to these questions as I ask them. Does it have more kinetic or potential energy? The boy sitting at the bottom of the slide. So it has potential energy. It's the boy is simply sitting there. So the boy has potential energy. Next question. Does it have more kinetic or potential energy? The girl is swinging. What do you think? Yes, it has put kinetic energy because it is the, the, the little girl is swinging. Which vehicle has more potential energy? Which vehicle has more potential energy, A or B? If you thought or said B, you are correct. It has more mass and so it has more potential energy. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, let your teacher know.